Thank you, Madam Chair. I rise in favor of my amendment, which will require schools to notify parents if they allow biological males to use restrooms or changing rooms designated for biological females. Throughout our debate today, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have continued to mischaracterize this bill as extreme. They harp on the same talking points, saying that this bill is looking to ban books, censor curriculums, and punish teachers. I would like any child pornographic books to be banned, but that's not exactly what we're talking about here in this amendment. All the while, under Democrat control, we have seen public K through 12 schools promote critical race theory, teaching our children to hate their country, and to hate their fellow classmates simply because of the color of their skin. They have radical gender ideology and even drag shows to, impersonable, uh, to impressionable young children. Now that, that is what is extreme. Even a school in my home state of Colorado has even changed a child's gender pronouns as preferred names and kept that information from the child's parents. Speaking as a mother of four boys and a soon-to-be grandma, enough is enough. I don't send my boys to school to receive indoctrination from the woke mob or be sexualized by groomers. And if they are, I sure as heck want to know about it, and I have the right to speak up. And so do these parents. So let me set the record straight. House Republicans want parents to be involved in their child's education. We want to take control back as parents of our children's education, rather than leaving it to partisan politicians or unelected bureaucrats. We don't want to send the FBI after them as domestic terrorists. We want to foster an active learning environment, not shut schools down and enforce outdated and unnecessary mask and vaccine mandates on our children. We want children to feel safe at school and not pave the way for school administrative staff to hide a sexual assault from parents like we saw in Loudoun County. Less than two years ago, about 30 miles from here, a ninth grade girl was sexually assaulted by a man wearing a skirt in the women's restroom at school. This male was allowed to follow the victim into the restroom because of Loudoun County Public Schools' inclusive transgender bathroom policies. When the father of the victim came to protest these policies that caused his teenage daughter to be raped at a school board meeting, he was arrested after an altercation with a woman who said that she didn't believe his daughter was raped. The superintendent also defended the school's transgender bathroom policy at that meeting. The man in the skirt was found guilty of two accounts of forcible sodomy, a count of anal sodomy, and a count of forcible fellatio. He was also charged with the sexual assault of another student that occurred months later at a different Loudoun County school. The left's ideology is far more delusional and it is dangerous. These inclusive policies have paved a way for sexual predators to use the left's definition of gender to take advantage of their victims. Unfortunately, this is just one example of many biological males using bathrooms to assault women and children. My amendment would grant parents the right to know if schools that their children are attending are forcing their children to share vulnerable spaces with potential predators. I urge my colleagues to support my amendment. With that, Madam Chair, I reserve.